Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel with practice problems is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. These five links here uh, tell you about the uh, um, place where you can find information about the online seminars, for example, PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I teach, and um, where you can purchase uh, study manuals, for example, PFM, LTAM, and IFM that I wrote. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam FM on financial mathematics. An insurance company has a liability of $1 million to be paid at time 10, counted in years, um, then a $1 million increased by 8% to be paid at time 11, and then the payment uh, increases uh, the same way every year until the last payment is made at time 19. The interest rate is 8% for all maturities. This insurance company holds only one asset, a level perpetuity due starting now with present value equal to its liabilities. Calculate the difference between this company's assets Macaulay duration and liabilities Macaulay duration. Well, the present value of the liability is a million discounted at 8% uh, from the time of payment, which is 10 years from now, plus a million increased by 8%, discounted by 8% of 11 years, and so on until a million um, is increased eight times, and uh, nine times, sorry, nine times, and paid at time 19, um, and discounted over 19 years. Well, we can see that 1.08 um, when it's in the numerator and the denominator cancelled out, cancels out, and every single one of those payments, uh, those present values, ends up being equal to the first one, which is a million divided by 1.08 to the uh, tenth, um, and we have um, the numerators equal to 1.08 to the zero, 1.08 to the first, and so on, through 1.08 to the ninth. So there are 10 payments. Therefore, this is equal to a million times 10 divided by 1.08 to the tenth. That's approximately equal to 4,631,934.88. That's the present value of the liability. The Macaulay duration of the liability is a million times 1.08 to the negative tenth, or divided by 1.08 to the tenth, um, divided by what we just calculated to be the total present value of um, all payments, which is a million times uh, 10 over 1.08 to the tenth, and that's multiplied by the time of payment, which is 10, plus the second payment present value, also divided by a million times uh, 10 over 1.08 to the tenth times 11, this a time of a second payment, and so on, through the last one, which will be a million times 1.08 to the 9th over 1.08 to the 19th, divided by a million times 10 over 1.08 to the 10th, and the whole thing multiplied by 19, which is the time of the payment. So we can see again that things cancel out, and in uh, the first expression, what we're left with is 10 over 10, the second one is 11 over 10, and so on through the last one, which is 19 over 10. And note that 10 plus 19 is 29, and then 11 plus 18 is 29, and so on. So we have pairs that add up to 29, five of such pairs. So therefore, that's 5 times 29 over 10, it's 14.5. The Macaulay duration of the asset is the same as the Macaulay duration of a unit perpetuity due, and it equals the price of a unit perpetuity median, 1 over i, which is 1 over 0 0.08, so it's 12.5. The difference between asset and liability in Macaulay duration is 
12.5 minus 14.5, and that's negative 2, which is answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material, copyright 2006 by Krzysztof Ostaszewski, all rights reserved, reproduction in whole or in part without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited.